Coming in, TCS! We're having the top 10 most impactful of each ink in Lorcana. This video is about the Amethyst ink. With that being said, let's go into number 10. The Queen, Wicked, and Vain. A 5 ink cost, inkable character with 4, 5 stats. 4 strength is enough to take care of most every card in the Lorcana card game. The ability to exert every turn in order to draw a card makes the Queen Wicked in Vain a very decent option for the late game. Maleficent Sorceress is good in the ways of she gives you a card, she, you can ink her if you need ink, and to have that ability to either draw a card when you need the card or ink when you need the ink is the flexibility that we are looking for. Friends on the other side doesn't seem as flexible. Number eight, I put Jafar Keeper of Secrets. Having these cards traditionally where there's a prerequisite that needs to be filled, not like really difficult to have cards in hand. He does as well generate two lore, which I enjoy thoroughly. Very simple, easy to have four cards in hand, and you can ink Jafar's Keeper of Secrets. Is very good. Number seven, I've decided to place Rapunzel's companion Pascal. He's an excellent option if there are any prints that give your uh, characters additional lore generation. Who knows? Um, I don't watch Rapunzel. I haven't watched Rapunzel. I think I saw Rapunzel maybe once, um, and that's that was like ten years ago. You were great. Number six, I have Doctor Facilier, Agent Procature. When Ursula gets out of hand, you want cards that give you cards back into your hand. The early Dr. Facilier cards are kind of not as impactful. All of that being said, I believe he is the under radar card of Lorcana in the Amethyst Inc. Number five, we have Elsa, Spirit of Winter. She is Really fantastic, quite important when you need to take any small little, very large lore generation out. They are very difficult to get because they have protection. There's, there's bodyguards um, that you have to get through. Also, Spirit of Winter is a very okay uh, character. Number four. We have Rafiki Mysterious Sage. Rafiki is unexpected. He survives. There are very many three ink cost characters that have three willpower and only two strength. Number three, we have Maleficent Biding Her Time. This card, she is an auto include four of in every deck that Amethyst has. Need the lore to win the game. You can get two then you can make likely six if you have the early board development, even late in the game. We just need that last push of two or four, then Maleficent biding her time will get you there. Number two, we have Mickey Mouse Wayward Sorcerer. I think it would have been blasphemy to not put Mickey Mouse Wayward Sorcerer on this list because of the later sets that likely will have brooms number one last least most impactful the amethyst color the first chapter lorcana befuddle the action to receive your opponent's four, three ink advantage this works for characters and items which means anything that is a permanent on the board return to the hand if it costs two, that means the opponent will have to use four ink instead of two ink, and they likely won't have had the ability to use their uh, item after they had played it. That means they are losing a turn having to play that card, character, item again. I hope you've enjoyed this list. I will give the rest of the colors very briefly. Give your thoughts in the comments, leave a subscription. Thanks so much. 
I hope you have a good day.